Welcome to the first video on using sine, cosine, and tangent. We're going to take a look at problems where we are using right triangles. And here we have a right triangle and we need to be able to label the sides correctly. So here is the hypotenuse. The hypotenuse is always the longest side in a right triangle and it's across from the 90 degree angle. Next, the opposite side. Now, in order to determine which side is the opposite side, you have to know which angle that you're interested in. For example, if you're trying to find the sine of angle A, then the opposite side will be the side that's opposite from angle A. And the third side is the adjacent side, which you can see is adjacent to angle A. So let's label these sides. In this example, the opposite side has a length of 3, the adjacent side a length of 4, the hypotenuse a length of 5. So it's a 3, 4, 5 Pythagorean triple. Now you need to memorize that the sine of an angle is equal to the opposite over hypotenuse. So in this case, the length of the opposite side is 3. And the length of the hypotenuse is 5. So the sine of angle A is 3 fifths. Cosine is adjacent over hypotenuse. Adjacent here is 4 divided by the hypotenuse, which is 5. So the cosine of angle A is 4 fifths. And tangent is opposite over adjacent. So the opposite is 3. The adjacent is 4. So the tangent of A is 3 fourths. Let's look at a second example. In this case, we're going to find the sine, cosine, and tangent of angle B. So the hypotenuse is here. The opposite side is now down here because it's opposite from angle B. And the adjacent side is here. In this example, the opposite side will have a length of 1. The adjacent side will have a length of the square root of 2. And the hypotenuse is 3. So first, let's find the sine of angle B. That is opposite over hypotenuse. So it is 1 divided by 3, 1 third. So the sine of B is 1 third. Next, the cosine of B is adjacent over hypotenuse. So adjacent is the square root of 2. Hypotenuse is 3. So it's the square root of 2 over 3. Finally, tangent is opposite over adjacent. So the opposite is 1. The adjacent is the square root of 2. So it's 1 over the square root of 2. But usually, you're expected to rationalize your denominator. So what we can do right here is multiply both the numerator and denominator by the square root of 2. And it becomes the square root of 2 over 2. And that concludes this video.